Keeping an engineering watch has one goal. That is maintaining all necessary machineries so that the vessel can safely fulfill its duties of transporting cargo. May it be the continuous running of the main engine, or the efficient performance of cargo pumps, or the reliability of alarm and safety systems. Keeping an engineering watch means keeping a ship seaworthy. Watch keeping at sea and at port have some similarities and differences with regards to machineries requiring special attention. Just like at sea, the main engine is continuously running, whereas at port it is stopped. Another example is at port, the auxiliary boiler is continuously running, whereas at sea it is stopped or on auto mode, depending on the steam producing capability of the vessel's economizer and the load of the main engine. Also, some vessels implement the Unmanned Machinery Spaces System or UMS system, and some vessels have a continuously manned engine room. Whatever the system on board, UMS or manned, wherever your ship is, at sea or at port, there is a standard for engine watch keepers that needs to be maintained. First is the order of priority of safety. Every watch keeper should know the main priority on board is the safety of the crew, the safety of the environment, and the safety of the property, which is the ship and its equipment and cargo. Second, in taking over a watch, you as a watch keeper must be aware of the standing orders and special instructions of the chief engineer relating to the operation of the ship's system and machineries. The nature of all work being done on machinery and systems, the personnel involved, and the potential hazards, the level of bilges, freshwater tanks, sewage tanks, fuel tanks, settling tanks, day tanks, and all other tanks applicable to a certain ship, the condition and the mode of operation of the main and auxiliary systems primarily the diesel generators, including the electrical power distribution system, the condition of your boilers, any potential adverse conditions resulting from ice, shallow waters, or bad weather, the availability of firefighting appliances, the state of completion of the engine room log, where the monitoring of machinery spaces and its parameters is of importance to know and foresee any abnormalities that may occur so that incidents and accidents may be prevented and the condition and operation of other systems as applicable to a certain kind of ship. Routines may vary depending on your company's safety management system or SMS. So on the first days of your tour of duty you must familiarize yourself with your company's SMS. Lastly, in handing over watch, you as a relieving officer shall inform your reliever of any changes from any system on board. May it be a special instruction from the chief engineer, overtime work of the crew, level of tanks like freshwater tanks, fuel tanks, etc., any maintenance in progress, any valves to a specific machinery that was opened or closed, any uncorrected abnormalities or abnormalities that need to be monitored. Every change of detail that happened during your watch must be relieved to the next engineer officer of the watch. But before that, you must first ensure that your reliever is fit for his or her duty. If you have doubts, you can always ask the advice of your senior officers.